Hello guys, in this video we will see our new Odontomachus colony. These ants are also known as trap jaw ants. Here is the queen that I was talking about in the last video. Congratulations to Lucas Chan, it's indeed an Odontomachus colony. It's my first time keeping this species, they are quite unique, aren't they? For this queen I tried some unconventional techniques, most because I didn't have the supplies at the moment. I didn't have access to mealworms, so I had to feed her only mosquitoes and webbing cloth moth larvae, like this one in the picture. She loves eating them. Thanks for the 400 subscribers guys, it's great to see the channel growing. And because of that I created an Instagram, follow me there, the link will be on the description. I'll be posting some cool photos, the making off of the videos and we can have a little chat there too. And here's what I've been feeding her. Usually she doesn't take long to take it, but I think that the light is scaring her. Let's watch. There she goes. She's attacking the larvae, it's awesome to see those jaws working. She seems to be more worried about the light from the camera at the moment. This larvae is turning out as a great protein source, the brood's developing fast and the queen still laying eggs. She took it, now she's taking it to her brood, I think she'll save it for later though. Having all three stages of brood is a sign that the colony will have more workers coming after the first ones and a good flow. After some days I had a termite nuptial flight here, so I took some of them to feed my colonies. They are a great protein source. Ooh, you heard that? That's the sound of the trap jaw queen attacking the termite. I'm not amplifying the sound, it's really that loud. Scientists have recorded peak speeds between 126 and 230 km per hour in the attack of this type of ants. It's truly a powerful attack, capable of killing and maiming their prey. The termite allayed have no chance against this killing machine. You can see that our queen already managed to cut off some of the termite's legs. Let's watch she trying to overcome the termite, I'll be right back.
she's bringing it back to her brood. And there you can see something new, a worker. Yes, we managed to successfully start from scratch an Odontomachus colony. But the battle is not yet over, let's keep watching. The worker is doing its best to keep the pack of eggs safe. It's the future of the colony. Prepare now, because you're about to hear the queen attacking. Listen. Moving on some more days, we managed to get one more worker. Aren't they awesome? Their red legs look very cool with their black bodies. I decided to keep this colony only in the test tube with no outworld. It's a hard decision to make while keeping this type of ants. They are semi claustro so the queen needs to be fed, even in the beginning. After some more days, we doubled the amount of workers, now we have four. These type of ants can bite, as you saw, and can also sting, so I needed to be really careful. I don't recommend keeping ants that sting if you are only beginning the hobby, because it can really hurt you. We can see cocoons, larvae and eggs, this queen is doing a great job. I captured her with wings and out of the nuptial flight season here in Brazil. I wasn't expecting her to be fertile, and look what we got now. They really made a mess in the tube, since they don't have an outworld to dump their trash. I also thought that these ants needed dirt for the cocoons to create their shells. But I guess that we proved that it's not true. Let's watch how they behave. I'll be right back with some more news about this colony. I prepared this simple outworld for them, only with their tube, some dirt and another tube in case they preferred a cleaner nest. They moved some dirt into the tube, that's a way to protect their nest, making the entrance smaller. We now have 6 workers, and more will come soon. You can see that the workers are already outside, exploring their new home. I'll be leaving here, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed our new colony. It took quite a long time for the colony to reach this point, but I managed to film almost all the process. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.